In the bustling streets of 19th century Rio de Janeiro, the legend of the Black Shadow took root. It was a tale whispered among the city's residents, a ghost story about a shadowy figure who roamed the night, seeking vengeance against those who had wronged him in life. The legend began with the tragic story of Lucas Almeida, a young man from a poor family who had managed to rise to prominence through sheer determination and hard work. Lucas was known for his intelligence and kindness, and he quickly became a beloved figure in his community. He had everything he could have dreamed of, a successful business, a beautiful fiancée named Maria, and the respect of his peers. However, success breeds envy, and Lucas had unknowingly made enemies among the powerful elite of Rio. A group of wealthy businessmen, threatened by Lucas's rising influence, conspired against him. They orchestrated a plot to ruin him financially, spreading false rumors and manipulating his business dealings. Within months, Lucas found himself bankrupt and disgraced. The final blow came when his fiancée, pressured by her family, broke off their engagement. Heartbroken and destitute, Lucas wandered the streets, his once bright future reduced to ashes. One fateful night, in a desperate bid to escape his torment, Lucas donned a black cloak, intending to take his own life. He made his way to the cliffs overlooking the ocean, where he planned to end his suffering. But as he stood on the edge, something inside him snapped. Instead of jumping, he vowed to take revenge on those who had destroyed him. Lucas disappeared that night, and soon after, the legend of the Black Shadow began to spread. According to the stories, a figure clad in a black cape and hood began to appear in the dark alleys of Rio, targeting the wealthy and powerful. Those who had conspired against Lucas were found dead under mysterious circumstances, their bodies marked by strange, unexplainable wounds. The Black Shadow, it was said, had returned from beyond the grave to exact his vengeance. Years passed, and the legend of the Black Shadow grew. Parents warned their children to behave, lest the Black Shadow come for them. The elite of Rio lived in fear, wondering if they might be the next target. Despite numerous attempts by the authorities to capture or kill him, the Black Shadow remained elusive, slipping through their fingers like smoke. In the present day, the legend of the Black Shadow was mostly a story told to frighten children. But for some, it was all too real. Anna and Paolo, two college students with a passion for urban legends, decided to investigate the story for a class project. They delved into the history, reading old newspaper articles and interviewing locals who claimed to have seen the Black Shadow. Their research led them to the old, abandoned Almeida mansion on the outskirts of the city, where Lucas had once lived. The mansion was a crumbling relic of a bygone era, its walls covered in ivy and its windows shattered. Anna and Paolo made their way inside, armed with flashlights and cameras. The air was thick with dust, and the floorboards creaked under their feet. They explored the decaying rooms, searching for any clues that might shed light on the legend. As they ventured deeper into the mansion, they found a hidden room behind a bookcase. Inside, they discovered a collection of old letters and diaries, detailing Lucas's rise and fall. The writings painted a picture of a man driven to the brink of madness by betrayal and despair. Among the papers, they found a black cape, carefully folded and preserved. Suddenly, the air grew cold, and the shadows in the room seemed to shift and move. Anna and Paolo exchanged nervous glances, their skepticism giving way to unease. As they turned to leave, they heard a whisper, a voice that seemed to come from everywhere and nowhere at once. Vengeance. They spun around, their flashlights flickering, but there was no one there. The whisper came again, louder this time. Vengeance. Panic set in, and they bolted for the door, but it slammed shut before they could reach it. The room grew darker, and a figure emerged from the shadows, a tall, gaunt man clad in a black cloak. His eyes burned with an otherworldly fire, and his presence filled the room with a palpable sense of dread. Who dares disturb my sanctuary, the figure demanded, his voice echoing off the walls. Anna and Paolo were frozen in fear, unable to speak. The black shadow stepped closer, his eyes narrowing as he studied them. You seek the truth of my legend, he said. But some truths are best left buried. With a wave of his hand, the room was plunged into darkness. Anna and Paolo felt a cold, 
clammy grip on their arms, dragging them into the void. They screamed, but no sound escaped their lips. They were falling, falling into an endless abyss. When they awoke, they found themselves in the same room, but it was no longer decayed and abandoned. It was restored to its former glory, with rich furnishings and flickering candlelight. The black shadow stood before them, his eyes filled with a sorrow that cut deeper than any blade. I was once like you, he said. Curious, driven, full of hope. But the world is a cruel place, and it destroyed me. Now I am bound to this existence, a wraith of vengeance. He reached out a hand, and Anna and Paolo felt a surge of power flow through them. Their minds were filled with visions of Lucas's life, his rise to prominence, his fall from grace, his descent into darkness. They saw the faces of those who had wronged him, heard their screams as the black shadow exacted his revenge. You sought the truth, the black shadow said, and now you have it. But beware, knowledge comes at a price. With that, he vanished, and Anna and Paolo were left alone in the restored mansion. They staggered to their feet, their minds reeling from the visions. They knew they had uncovered something far more sinister than an urban legend. They fled the mansion, vowing never to speak of what they had seen. But the experience had left its mark on them. They could feel the black shadow's presence, a whisper lurking at the edge of their consciousness, a reminder of the darkness that lay just beneath the surface of the world. In the weeks that followed, strange things began to happen. Anna and Paolo started seeing shadows move out of the corner of their eyes, hearing whispers in the dead of night. They were plagued by nightmares, visions of the black shadow and his victims. They tried to return to their normal lives, but the legend had taken hold of them, its dark tendrils wrapping around their minds. One night, as Anna lay in bed, she felt a cold breath on her neck. She turned to see the black shadow standing beside her bed, his eyes burning with an unholy fire. You cannot escape me, he whispered. The truth binds you to my fate. With a scream, Anna bolted upright, but the figure was gone. She clutched her head, trying to shake the visions that filled her mind. She knew there was no escaping the black shadow. His curse had become her own. Paolo fared no better. He began to withdraw from his friends and family, consumed by the darkness that had taken root in his soul. He spent hours poring over the old letters and diaries they had found, trying to find a way to break the curse. But the more he read, the deeper the darkness grew. In the end, Anna and Paolo were left with a terrible choice. They could succumb to the darkness and become like the black shadow, or they could take their own lives and end the curse once and for all. It was a decision that haunted them both, a choice between life and death, light and darkness. The legend of the black shadow lived on, a tale of vengeance and sorrow, a reminder that some truths are best left buried. Anna and Paolo became part of that legend, their names whispered in the same hushed tones as Lucas Almeida's, their fates intertwined with the darkness that had claimed them. And in the shadows of Rio de Janeiro, the black shadow watched, waiting for the next curious soul to uncover his truth, to become ensnared in his web of vengeance and despair. For as long as there were those who sought the darkness, the black shadow would remain, a ghostly guardian of secrets best left undisturbed.